Like last season, Texas Tech likes to keep the ball out of the middle and then aggressively help on baseline drives. And Louisville, like many of Texas Tech's opponents before them, just couldn't get anything going on the outer thirds of the court against that no middle defense. So instead, they tried different ways to keep the ball in the middle third. In Louisville's early offense, they used the butt screen, with the screener Jordan Nuora facing the basket. The point guard looks to either attack the basket, pass into the post, or pass back to the trailer. The two players not directly involved in the action are in the deep corners for spacing purposes which could have been useful against Texas Tech, except the Red Raiders just switched the butt screen altogether, and that stalled the point guard's ability to attack. Steven Enoch has scored many times this season by ducking in while the butt screen is occurring. He fights down low for deep post position. But Texas Tech was ready for that too. They not only face guarded Enoch, but then aggressively helped on the lob pass. Texas Tech's denials were also extremely important in making Louisville uncomfortable. It's much harder to feed the post or initiate any offense when you're being forced to catch the ball out near half court. So when Louisville went to their high-low action in the middle of the court, Texas Tech's combination of pressure on the ball and aggressive help off the ball prevented the high-low pass from being completed. Then add in that switching we saw earlier, and that's why Louisville was forced to settle for poor shots. They finished the game scoring just 0.75 points per possession. With their worst effective field goal percentage of the season, and their worst turnover percentage. We've covered both Texas Tech and Louisville in depth over at Hoop Vision Plus. I'll link to those in the description and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube for more game breakdowns all season long.